infestation has become a huge problem in southeastern Pennsylvania, starting back in 2014. And one way to help control this growing problem is by the removal of their egg masses. Each egg mass contains between 35 and 50 eggs, so it's very important to check your trees and remove and destroy as many egg masses as possible. Now, the first thing you need to know is what do these egg masses look like? They're gray, crusty, about an inch and a half long by about uh, an inch, half an inch to three quarters of an inch wide. They kind of look like a narrow wad of chewing gum stuck in uh, Now, these egg masses um, are not to be confused with lichen. Lichen is also gray in color, so it's gray and green, but generally it's larger, more rounded, and uh, often times purple. Lichen is the common to the trees and doesn't have to be removed. The egg masses themselves tend to be kind of uh, humped in the, in, the center, in the center there where they're covering the eggs. Now these spotted lanternfly egg masses can be, can be found on any smooth surface. It can be rocks, it can be fences, it can be trees. They seem to, on the trees, they seem to prefer the shady undersides of the branches. One good thing about this preference is that it makes the majority of them visible and potentially removable. Now, as you can see on this red maple, they could be anywhere from 6 to 20 feet off the ground. Spotted lanternfly egg masses can be destroyed any time from the fall when they lay their eggs until the end of April when they'll be ready to hatch. Penn State Cooperative Extension Agency has a wealth of information on the control of spotted lanternfly. They've been studying this problem for a long time, and they are the go-to place for, for information. They have uh, several informational pamphlets that you can download from the website. Now, Penn State recommends using a credit card or, or a stiff object like a, uh, a scraper to scrape the eggs into a baggie of alcohol. I find this is great if the egg masses are e within easy reach, but as you can see uh, from the video, a lot of them are up out of reach. Uh, they are often high in the tree, and, and even with a ladder, it makes it difficult to, to remove them. I've come up with a potentially safer and easier method for dealing with the egg masses that works even with this, these lower accessible ones as well as the ones that are up out of reach. What I've used are simple, simple items I got at the box store. I got a plastic putty knife. I find a light colored one makes it easier to see the eggs when they have been scraped off. You're going to need a small orange paint roller. A, uh, I used a free wooden paint stirrer that I picked up at the store. You need a few zip ties extension pole, uh, that one that the, uh, you can screw the uh, paint roller on top, onto, and then you have to do a small paint tray or shallow pan to put the alcohol in. Uh, you'll need a, a gallon Ziploc bag and some paper towels or wet wipes that you can use to remove the eggs off of the scraper. And when you're using this roller scraper apparatus that we've made, Basically, you want to dip the roller into the alcohol that's in the paint tray. You're going to roll it on the egg mass. Now, this will dissolve the outer gray coating exposing the eggs. Once the eggs are exposed, you can flip the, uh, the roller around and use the putty knife to scrape off the eggs. A couple of passes with the putty knife will remove most of the eggs. Once that's done, flip the paint roller apparatus again and you go over the area uh, that you treated with more alcohol. There will be enough in the roller to do this uh, additional uh, rolling. Now, any loosened eggs will be picked up by the roller and make it easier, easier to destroy. When you're done with each egg mass, wipe the eggs off the scraper with a wet wipe and place them in a Ziploc bag. I found that the additional benefit of the rubbing alcohol is that the, egg, the removed eggs will stick to the scraper keeping them, preventing them from falling to the ground and uh, possibly hatching. Because you're going to be applying rubbing alcohol above your head, I strongly suggest you wear safety goggles to protect any, yourself from any potential eye damage from any splashing alcohol. While this method has not been approved by Penn State and may not be 100% effective, it should give us a way to help in the fight against the spotted lanternfly invasion. Uh, once you've finished up your treatment of the uh, spotted lanternfly egg masses, I suggest that you follow it up with a band of sticky tape around the tree trunk. This will catch any of the nymphs that you may, may have missed or have fallen to the ground. 
Now there is some concern about small birds being stuck to the flypaper. You can prevent this by wrapping a piece of chicken wire loosely over the tape to prevent this occurrence. I thank you for your help in this fight and happy hunting. Thank you.